So this is the Flyknit Luna 1. Um, it's Nike's most innovative and pinnacle running product at the moment. Um, a really awesome shoe. Gives you, weighs 227 grams and gives you amazing lightweight support, uh, flexibility and breathability, all in a seamless upper as well. So it's a shoe we really built from scratch. So if we want to start from the bottom, we can start with a real kind of simplistic outsole. It really is along that kind of Bowerman ethos of what you don't need, we strip out of the shoe. Okay, so we have a Duralon blown outsole, which gives you a little bit of cushion on, a little bit of cushioning, but also uh, a, a good deal of um, durability as well. Uh, it's coupled with a bit of BRS rubber in the heel. Gives great durability in the heel in that sort of area as well. Um, we use the shoes based on a lunar midsole platform, so it uses lunar long cushioning from heel to all the way through to the forefoot. And you can see this cut out through the midsole as well. It's the first time we've really offered this in a mileage um, shoe, but also in a shoe that offers a neutral, neutral platform as well. So you can kind of see if I squeeze around the Luna, you can see how much softer it is than our normal um, firmer carrier foam that we use. Um, and it really gives a soft, responsive, kind of springy feel when the, when the runner puts the shoe on. Um, we've also cut out areas of firmer foam, again to reduce weight, but also to add to that kind of springy, responsive feel. And it gives you great, great kind of foot to, foot to ground contact as well. So that's the sort of technology we're looking at in the midsole. In the upper, is where we're really talking about this Flyknit technology. Um, so Flyknit is all about creating a completely seamless upper that has support, breathability, and flexibility all built in, okay, to a malleable, one-layered one uh, upper material. Um, the upper of the Flyknit Luna 1 uses four threads, which itself is made up of three different types of yarn, okay? We use a core polyester yarn, which is really tightly woven in areas that need quite a lot of support so in and around the heel counter and also the toe box you can see really tightly woven and that really stops you from rolling off the midsole it gives you a little bit of support in that area we also have another type of yarn so we use a stretch yarn throughout the midfoot so this stretch yarn is incorporated with the dynamic flywire which gives a little bit of stretch and, stretch and flexibility through the midfoot but also great lockdown in there so when you pull on those laces those that dynamic flywire and the stretch the stretch yarn interact and work together to really give you a great lockdown fit through the midfoot um, we also use what we call a fusible yarn so this fusible yarn sits in the toe box uh, the majority of it sits in the toe box the fusible yarn allows for a great deal of breathability because of the spaces a little bit of flexibility as well but also um, reacts with steam so the shoe is a great fitting shoe anyway but by uh, steaming the shoe we the fusible yarn stretches it expands and it drops down a little in the toe box um, we, we take the shoe out of the steaming machine and we slide our foot back in and then our foot pushes out on that yarn and allows the uh, the the yarn to really mold and conform to the shape of our foot okay we give it about 30 seconds to 45 seconds to to mold and actually fit to the foot you, if you took your foot out then you would see the outline of your toes um, and that's really enduring until you run in quite extreme conditions as of yet we don't know how many times we can steam very very new innovative technology so we're we're really looking forward to see what its capabilities are in that sense that's the flying at Luna 1